Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play God and Son. Uh, last episode, we killed a Kraken, which uh, was actually turned out a bit easier than I thought it would. And we, just by chance, and totally not because I uh, specifically looked up things we need to do to get here. Hey, there's a chest over here. We found this uh, island that no one seems to know about called Crossbone Island. So, we'll pick up that antidote right here. And uh, I didn't really talk about this a whole lot last episode, but this is a, I really, I really, 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 really like this place. <laughs> I find it really fun. Uh, there's a bunch of puzzles in here. Um, I, it, the pattern, there is a bit of a pattern to how this stuff works. Uh, you could probably already figure it out. Kind of sucks about this room is you have to leave and enter. I don't really like puzzles in this game in general that force you to like leave to reset a puzzle to be able to finish it properly because that's just you know that's kind of acknowledging that it's not really supposed to be that way I get I don't know but uh, yeah we all collect the coins as you know we're pretty much going for a hundred percent run here so we're collecting all the uh, let's go left did I miss a chest I don't know no that looks like a dead end okay generally what you want to do here is move these in the direction that will grant you access to the next stump statue thing these are rocks aren't they I don't know if, oh no there was a chest over there okay this is that this is actually okay yeah th this should actually be okay we actually have to complete this room then we'll come back for that chest because as you complete every room you actually uh, get yourself shortcut so you don't want to use move to pull that which is weird because you don't really do that a whole lot in this game you use move to pull a block back it's always weird. This also confused me uh, a lot the first time I did it. I'm trying to like, jump around this way. Uh, this puzzle, yeah, I really took me for a loop. But yeah, you're going around in a circle here. Make your way around this way. Yes. Yeah, okay, here we go. And then you can make your way back to this statue. And you just move to move it that way. <laughs> I started to doubt myself for a second there. Okay, so you skip this chest, but that should be okay. Because we'll come back uh, for it in a moment. Okay, so in order, so we're going to want to go move that to the right, and then that to the right. Yeah. So he's got to do two rights. So long, chest. So long, gay Bowser. Ooh, a chest that... Whoa, no way! You can walk around it! No way! I always thought you couldn't move past that chest. Huh. Okay, well, we're gonna skip it for a second. Uh, for no real reason. I'm just gonna... Oops. I'm just gonna skip that completely not the obvious chest at all. That definitely doesn't contain anything bad or anything. Ha 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 ha. Alright, this chest better be worth it. In before it's like one coin or something stupid. I don't remember what's in it. There's a lot of chests in here, so. Unless it's something very specific, like that one chest we saw just very suspiciously. Ah, hard knot, yeah, it's definitely worth it. <laughs> Why is it a hard knot and also. Oh. Did I just need growth? Oh, I guess I just need growth before, didn't I? Let's do that. Like, get my cannon back on. There we go. I remember how to do that finally. Uh, hard nut. Uh, my general strategy for this game in general has been giving Mia a lot of the static pieces since Ivan is typically the weakest. However, uh, Mia's our healer for the most part, so it's very important to keep her alive. Isaac's also our healer in the sense that he has the ability to revive people. Oh, for a second, I, I thought that didn't save. Let's open the chest from the front, because I normally open it from the back. Chest is really mimic! Oh my god, the huge manatee! Who would have figured? Uh, so this mimic is level 20. He has 729 hit points. And let's see how, uh, oops, no, not Corona. My Corona! I don't actually know if I ever went over Corona. Um, because I actually have Corona listed at the very end of my notes for some reason. Like, at the final boss area of all the monsters that are down for the information. So, I don't know, it's weird. Oh, he's asleep. Okay, uh, this mimic has the ability to use Curse. Uh, debilitate. A Curse will, uh, kill you, will automatically kill you in eight turns if it's, if it's successfully placed. Um... Quickly use all these up. Uh, he also has. <clears throat> he also can use Sonic Slash, which is a pretty powerful synergy move. Sleep and Side Drain. Side Drain. Us is. Uh, we ha I haven't shown that off yet, but us is add ups. Ah, look at that. 451 experience, 501 coins. Normally he will give you 386 gold and 347 experience points, but since we uh, killed him with a. Uh, um, Jin, he's weak too. He gave us more 25% extra, I believe, and we get a potion from him. Yay! So let's another mimic bites it us. Too bad mimics don't respawn. I think those would be kind of cool to refight. Uh, all right. Here we go. The next boss fight. So we're gonna 
I should, probably should have went in here with some of these gin already being used, but that should be okay. Uh, yeah, resistance I think would be a better idea, and I don't need to heal anyone yet, so use Ice Lord. Um, Alright, so uh, there's these two Grizzlies and the Succubus. Suc Succubus, sorry. I know, I'm an idiot. It's fine. Don't worry about it. The Grizzlies are level 23. They have 800 hit points. <clears throat> Um, they drop 700 gold and 243 experience points. They also have a 100% drop rate, uh, which I will not go over since we'll be seeing it at the end of the battle anyways. They have the ability to use Bear Claw and Berserk, which are both just high dealing damage. So that is actually pretty unfortunate. Uh, let's use Granite because Ivan's already kind of looking a little sore in the buttocks. <laughs> and the Spritz, I don't know, maybe I should use Kite there. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Saki base is level 17, has 529 hit points, drops 143 gold, and 101 experience points. Um, she has a 6.25% chance of dropping Crystal Powder. So, she's actually not a unique enemy, I believe. I believe you'll see her later in the game. She's ability to use Heart Render, which lowers attack by 25%, uh, Wind Slash, and Hail Prism. And there's the Hail Prism. Great. Furious Rage. Oh! I was wrong! Furious Rage, uh, boosts attack. And I don't even have that written down. Well, <clears throat> the more you know. Alright, uh, Judge Munch. This should, this should hopefully end them. End them. Um, what will they be reaching? Maybe fire? And yeah, a little Ivan since he's below 100 hit points. And that's, a, that's the hard thing about using Jin, is yes, you gain the ability to summons, which do a hell of a lot of damage, but. You also lose hit points, you use attack power, you use defense, you lose pretty much all your stats, so... It's really a catch-22 using them, but... I think the... I think if you get them off uh, in time, like the summons that is, it works out pretty nicely. 64, okay, I have not want to look through that. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, that was really close. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, I'm sick. I can't, Ivan. <laughs> I can't have you die today, sir. I don't think you ever use a Bramble Seed. Let's use a Bramble Seed. Wait, I Garrett's attack and dice? Wow, weird. I wonder what happened if I tried to use this. Let's see, I've never actually tried this before. It's, it's a big waste. I'm really curious what happens. This should kill them all, I hope. I, I pray. I, I really hope. Uh, we won't even have enough time to see. Garrett's gonna be the slowest guy. He's not gonna be, he's not gonna have time to use the Bramble Seed. I might have to experiment with that later, though. Grizzly, still alive. This should kill him, though. Go, Grizzly, go! Go, Grizzly, go! There we go, yeah, that did like half his damage. So 100% drop rate is a potion from the uh, Grizzlies there. Alright, we got a new puzzle going on. Wow, those guys really just messed me up. Uh, there are no random encounters, I believe I brought that up before. This is a new recording session, by the way, so excuse me if I'm repeating things. Might as well click some of these and pray there's no mimics. Wow, there's a lot of just freebie chests. You don't have to do anything in this room. Lucky Pepper. Um. Maybe push that first so we could roll that log all the way up. There's actually root logs. These always look kind of hollow. They look like the pipes in Mercury Lighthouse, but they're not. They're actually just it's just the shadows that, that are just buckled in. Um, okay. That's actually going pretty well. There we go. That's what I wanted. I want to wish. That just ate up a lot of synergy. That's fine. There's actually an area coming up that I'm actually not entirely sure I'm going to be able to 100%. Uh, so we're going to have to take a... We're going to have to try some things with that, I guess. Um, but I guess more on that later. I'm just getting a little worried about Mystery Blade! Cool. Also, we got this Lucky Pepper. Uh, six, lock, five, eleven? Holy crap, Ivan, you're crazy, man. Let's go for Garrett, why not? Oh yeah, the Mystery Blade, haha! <laughs> Alright, uh, Alicia's life nourish. So, as you'd imagine, I'll drain attack. This is gonna be much more a beneficial look to Garrett, so we'll give it to him. I believe he had less attack than Isaac did as well, I believe. And there we go, that was a very easy room. Push that down there to create a shortcut. Wow. And back down we go! So, yeah, this... This is kind of fun, it's, it's like a boss rush, but in between the bosses... So I guess it isn't exactly a boss rush then, would it? Um, but between the bosses, you get the ability to... Yeah, look at that. To do puzzles, which... Inle unless they're like took away your synergy or something. I think that would be kind of cool. I think that would be very cool, wouldn't it? If they took away your synergy uh, while inside, or at least your healing synergy, like, oh, 
a dark force prevents you from using healing synergy while in this room. I think that'd be kind of cool because then it would be like a proper bo boss rush. You do actually heal a little bit as you walk around. I think it's like one uh, hit point every uh, couple steps or something. Um, anyways, these guys, they, uh, we're fighting a Lich here and Fiendish Ghouls. Uh, Lich is level 23. Is the, that was a bad time to start saying that. Um, yeah, I guess we could do that. And Forge. And Zephyr. And Mist. The Lich is level 23. He has 900 hit points. He drops uh, 1,200 gold. 263 uh, experience points. He does have a 100% chance to drop something. He has ability to use Revive? No, I, I wonder how that would work. Huh. Debilitate, Enfeeble, which lowers resistance. Uh, binds, Haunt, Curse, and Glacier. Holy crap, that's a lot of um, stuff. Uh, haunts, well, I, it's actually one of the few stats ailments that follow you around outside of battle. Okay, we'll focus on these uh, fiendish ghouls now that he's asleep. Fiendish ghouls! Ooh. We actually don't have a need to heal yet, so we'll leave that for now. Um, the Fiendish Ghouls are level 17. They have 609 hit points. They drop 109 gold and 87 experience points. Uh, they have a 6.25% chance of dropping an antidote. Uh, they have the ability to use Cannibal Fang, which we've seen a couple times here. It drains their health and heals them. Uh, which oh, has Awaken. 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 Uh, which are weaker? The Fiendish Ghouls are much weaker, so let's concentrate on them a bit longer here. And I'll go over their uh, their attacks in a second here. I guess we'll use spreads. We don't really need it, but at least we'll have Fizz still to heal, and just Isaac and you know to heal in general as well. Um, they also have the ability to use uh, Bacteria Rush, which can poison you. Oh, he's paralyzed! I'm not paralyzed. Okay, so uh, we're gonna focus all of them on the Lich here since he has the most health. And theoretically, just like the, just the the, the splash damage should uh, hurt the Phoenix School enough to kill him. He doesn't have a lot of health. Yeah, there we go. 288. That's like almost half his health. <laughs> this is actually a great place to come for money as well. Like I said, like the Lich himself drops 1,200 gold. That's pretty nice. That's that's pretty up there for getting like a weapon. I see Garrett's curse there, so we only have seven more turns to kill this guy. I wish Curse would actually see those, like, four flames. You'll see, like, one, that flame on the far right is a bit smaller than the ones. That's, that every half turn, the flame will get a half size smaller. Well, and we got a Psy Crystal. That's the 100% drop from the Lich. Oh, this room. I really like this room. I believe this is really the only time you use Catch, like, to, in, the, in the game to, like, really do a puzzle. Which is weird, because like, you would think that, uh... I can't reach from there. You would think that yeah, that would be more... This would be, like, a more fleshed out thing. It's the first synergy you get and you only ever really use it to like get nuts and sometimes other goodies from trees. Nuts and I don't, I don't know if you've seen the other thing we get from a tree before. Okay, I'll just tell you. It's an apple. Spoiler alert. Um, hoppity hop hop hop. Let's go this way. I wonder what these keys are for. Well, there's a door right here. Oh, really? Huh, I thought, you, I thought it would give me an examination if I clicked on it, but nope. This brings up the menu. I think we want to go this way. There we go. You gotta kind of like angle yourself. I should really just, uh... Ooh. Almost clicked on resets. Restarts. Restart or reset? I always forget. I think I used to call it like reset as a kid. I think I was supposed to get that key from that one. God dang it. God dang it! You kids, these days! Yeah, I totally was. Alright. <sighs> hoppity hop hop hoppity hop hop look at me go me I'll go there we go diddly 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 got a blue key congratulations and that should be all the keys great um if you're wondering we got all these blue keys but that's a red door what the heck do all the blue keys turn into the color red no that's not how colors are here we go he's walking on the doors and they open He's got 333 coins, half the devil. And you get a fairy ring from this, uh, which I believe heals poison. I like an elixir battle, which uh, which heals delusion, stun, and sleep. There we go. <laughs> I just had a bunch of those laying around. A cookie, which is pretty awesome. What do these look like? 
they kind of like ducks, don't they? Little chickens or something. Um, see, this is another thing. Mia is typically the healer, right? So you want her to have as much synergy as possible. But Garrett only has 60. That's pretty sad. I'll give it to I'll give it to Garrett as a pity. So um, yeah, just to talk about this ring a little bit more. You could use it. Oh really? Right. Maybe you can only use it in battle. Oh, in battle, correct. Okay. So yeah, you can only use that in battle. Was there another ring Garrett had? No, okay. Oh, there was a unicorn ring, actually. That's fine. That's the one that heals poison. There we go. And that's Smick Bam! Um, in battle, you could actually still use it. Like, it'll act like an elixir, and over time, when you use it, it'll break. Uh, show what breaking does with really like that uh, at the beginning of the game. So you'll see all these, like, in a circle here with a different color. So these reveal, and that reveals the red, the secret red key. The red pill. There we go. That's it. That's, that's the room. So some of these rooms are relatively easy puzzles. Like the first room, I believe, was the hardest so I think... I just can't remember what that one was. I, actually, that that room with all the stone statues, that was pretty hard. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Alright. So next up here... Isn't this... I just think this is so cool, though. Because you're really not supposed to get to this area until much farther in the game. It's really cool that you could just walk over here and here you go. <laughs> Here's like a boss rush area, and as you would imagine, the deeper you go into here, the harder the bosses get, so uh, we're going to have to probably start watching our butts here. Let's see the stats on these guys here, I have to flip a page. You heard nothing. Uh, these are griffins! They have 100% chance, chance to drop something to level 23, they have 1100 hit points. They drop 1900 gold, 303 experience points, they have the ability to use- oh my god! Is that the first time someone's been downed? No, someone was down when he fought Satoris. Um... If I've done Delia. Okay, Quartz only has a 50% chance of working. Hopefully it works. When, uh, when someone gets down, they also lose any status uh, effects they would have had. Including, like, see how we're boosting agility right now. Obviously Mia doesn't get that, because she's dead. And... oh, yep, well... I mean, I guess I got to show at least what, ha what happens with the work. Anyways, uh, impact, which increases attack. Oh god, these guys are actually pretty strong, aren't they? He has ability Sonic Slash, Ward, which boosts defense, uh, Tornado, Bind, Wing Flutter, and Twin Beaks. Twin Beaks is a very powerful one, which killed me in one hit. We have the ability to use revive still, we do not. Shoot. I would really like to, uh. uh that is very unfortunate, actually. Alright. Granite will protect us this turn, and uh, we'll use Kite on Isaac so he can do multiple things. This is actually going to be a very difficult battle here. Flutter. Tornado! I really want- I would really like to get Mia revived by the end of this battle here. Shoot, man. Everyone's below 100 hit points. If they use Twin Beaks, everyone's going to die. <laughs> There's the Ooh, I have a lot of life. But I'm trying to- I don't like using those. I can't scratch in something in the background there. Um, right. Oh, 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 I have an idea. So we use Sap. Then we'll use Curewell on... Garrett's relatively strong, so we'll use that on him. Oh, Garrett has a bunch of... Eh. Uh... Yeah, we'll use that on Garrett's. Oh yeah, and they're still Ivan. Perfect. Ivan! Stay poking the gorilla! There's nothing in here really that Ivan will be useful to use, so that's fine. We'll use Gust. I think we're really gonna have to concentrate on killing one as quickly as possible. I should be getting kind of close. Ugh. That didn't heal up Isaac as much as I had hoped it would. Oh god. Oh no! Isaac's gonna die! Isaac's dead! No! Oh my god! <laughs> There's no way. Alright, uh... Thor, go! Come on, Garrett. You gotta be the lone survivor. Gonna heal, but they're just gonna bring down... Oh, he's dead! No way! Alright, well, we'll get to see what happens here when you die. The for the f Oh my god, are you serious? Damn it, phone. Okay, uh, the thing with my phone here... Oh great, doing the volume doesn't even work. Great, great, great. So, when you die, you get brought back to the nearest, um, guy to revive you. Isaac has one hit point. 
And here's what happens when you revive. I actually didn't think I needed to do this. You could actually talk to uh, the sage here. Welcome, welcome, weary wanderers. What are you see? I am very weary. Hmm, you were down to battle and you need reviving, do you? Who shall I revive? Alright, and here's. I actually like this little tone, so here you go! Reviving gear requires a donation of 360 coins. A donation. <laughs> Did I call upon my healing powers. Yay! He has been revived! And I have been. I don't think there's any other penalty for dying. I don't think it's like Pokemon where you lose half your coins. I think so anyways um anyways i'm assuming here <laughs> that's i like that nice a lot <laughs> and as we talked about before they also have the ability to cure poison repel evil which is get rid of haunts and remove curses curses we actually haven't uh hit yet and you can see we're still over here like how'd you guys get back over here um i believe it'll save all our progress still oh, great um Chris will have to go back up here though. Yeah, see, all our progress has been saved. Like that, the Ivy's still blown away from that. So, next time, I'm actually gonna probably quickly look up if. Oh, yeah, and you'll see all our gin is also away. So, yeah, I don't think. It saves all our progress, except for the fact that, you know, you die and you gotta waste a bunch of money to revive people. Um, next episode, we will get back there and um, push forward in Crossbone Isle. Uh, yeah, so the whole it gets hard as you go thing. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye!